Well, hello there, friends. I hope that you're doing well. Just continuing on the tradition of trying to find a place with a little shade to record after uh, working out and being sweaty and unshowered, so you'll have to forgive me. Um, so I have finally upgraded my old, like, 10-year-old monitor to something larger. I think it was like 32 inches. It's still 1080p and 60 hertz, whatever, refresh rate, but that's okay. I don't need anything too fancy, folks. It's just, I need, I don't know if it's just an age thing, but you're like, oh, well, everything's so hard to see and so small. Um, I also bought a new computer chair, but I didn't order it online. I went to a, like a furniture place and I must have hung out for like two hours just sitting in chairs rather than, oh, I'm going to go on Amazon and look up ergonomic computer chair and just order what looks good and then you try it out and it's like, oh shit, this sort of sucks, so... Just uh, narrow, whittling it down until I eventually settled on two, and it was just going back and forth between it, and it's like, okay. You know, put some money towards it. <clears throat> there was uh, this other, like, super comfortable one for, like, $400, but, you know, it was a little too... At that point, it was a little too, like, ugh... Willing to spend money, but do I want to spend $400 on a office chair maybe some other time but not right now so seems comfy folks so um i'm doing okay you know you know you have you have your low points right you have your low points it's just trying not to let those low points bring you down and um go back on things let it let have things spiral out of control again it's just keeping up the momentum and going with it and staying busy trying to keep yourself busy it's just you know when you when you do have moments where you're not doing as much as you should you know it's kind of becomes this idle hands idle mind the little depression and whatever can start creeping the, the depression the self-doubt the whatever can start creeping back in you know and it's just not succumbing to it so uh um i want to try something new my exercise routine but i don't want to talk about it just yet because i had good success with it thinking like the summer of 2012 so I want to try it again but this time refine it a bit more but if I talk about it right now you know people are going to be like oh that sounds really dumb whatever so I want to try this out see uh see what happens it's uh generally been my favorite way of training before so but yeah we'll just leave that there folks so Anyway, I had a conversation with, I don't know, I guess you could say friend at this point. It's a, it's a customer that comes into work once in a while. I, I sort of mentioned him. He's this uh, guy from Iran. I don't know when he moved here. He's got a little bit of an accent, but um, used to be a, a math teacher or something like that. I'm sure he's done other things. He's a really cool dude. And not to go off on a tangent, but as one, it's sort of funny where I realized the people that I'm closest to, IRL, so not the internet, all seem to be like Middle Eastern or part Middle Eastern. You know, I've got you know, this Iranian guy is somebody else I know who's like half Iranian. And of course, my half Ghani friend who uh, I believe we're going to hang out tomorrow. So hopefully he doesn't cancel again. Uh, tomorrow as in Sunday. I'm, I'm recording this on Saturday, but I'll probably schedule it to go up on Sunday. We'll see. I, I need to get into like a routine 
scheduled routine of posting videos, but you know, sometimes you have ideas for stuff and if you don't film it then and there, it's like a kind of, and you, you wait for the day to do it, then it's like not the same where the juice just isn't flowing, man, you know? The berry doesn't feel like it's the, the juice isn't worth the squeeze, man. Um, but yeah, it's just sort of funny how that turned out. But yeah, he's a really cool dude. Uh, he's got siblings who apparently are super fancy and all that. And, uh, he basically is retired or at least not working because to take care of his mom who's got really bad dementia and Alzheimer's. So, I always respected that, you know. He did the, like, he's not just gonna put her in a home and that's it. He's very... You know, this is my mother, and I will take care of her. So, yeah, apparently his siblings don't give a crap whatsoever. They just left him, left her, you know. So, but uh, we talk a lot when I do see him, and I've got a, like I mentioned on the stream, I got a... Try to get like a lunch or breakfast or something with him just to talk outside of work and get his opinion and insights of stuff without that pressure of like I'm on the clock you know whatever um yeah he's a cool dude um we sort of commiserate on a lot of stuff you know that whole thing you're getting older difficulty of like finding a woman <laughs> and you know but but primarily though it was just like finding a group like finding a social circle you know what I mean and this is the guy, because it's interesting to hear his story, because he's, uh, he's, he's definitely doing it, you know, he definitely is doing it, and has done it a lot of, like, putting yourself out there, trying to go socialize, and all that, and, you know, because I was telling him, like, you know, I sort of started going to church a bit, but, you know, there's that thing where it just sort of feels like you're a stranger in somebody else's house, and, well, maybe, you know, maybe it's just still early and all of that. But, uh, yeah, he was saying how he would, he went to this one church and he went there for like a couple of years and nothing. And it was always still the same feeling when you go there. Everybody's just super nice and smiley and all that. But once, once that's over it's and, and you leave, it's like you never even existed basically. And it never changed, you know? It never changed for him. So that was... I think you, like, mentioning, like, going to Quaker groups and stuff like that. And it was the same thing. You know, you, you'd you go to... You'd go, oh, everybody's so nice and this and that. But as soon as you're not there, it's like, you know, you're like a non-existent ghost. Um, and he was mentioning, you know, he would he would do the meetup thing of like, oh, go to, go to this meetup, that meetup, etc. And uh, it never, just nothing came of it, you know. People would come and go, so it's like maybe you get to know some people, and then they stop showing up, and other new people might show up, and then. Trying to get to know those people and then they stop coming, etc., etc. So it was just, you know, you hear the other side of it where there's, it's not so, you know, it's not so cut and dry as to just put yourself out there, man, and, and you'll just meet all these people. It's like, no, maybe, I mean, obviously you have to because you're not going to meet anyone if you just stay at home. But at this point, you know, it kind of goes in with what I've said. I mean, I think it was on the previous channel where it's just, uh, it becomes more challenging as you get older. You can't use it as an excuse or any of that, but uh, it it really is, folks. Whether it's you're looking for a girl or friendship or whatever, it's just past a certain age. It's that mid-20s. Once you get into your late 20s and beyond... It is much, much more difficult. People are established in their social groups, their social circles, their friends, whatever. And, 
you know, it's no longer that environment where everybody's young and just learning and growing up and whatever together. Um, and so, you know, the question that he had, which I didn't really have an answer on, you know, is just, it was just, because we talk about it a lot of like, where do you, where do you, where do you find home? Where do you find a place? Where do you find your group? You know, where do you find something genuine where people aren't going to try to change you? Where people will accept you as you are, you know, more or less, but not like try to control you and all that. Because he would, he would talk about, you know, like, I think knows this one, like, Persian group where, yeah, oh, they'll, they'll be your friends and they'll like even try to find you a wife or something like that. But it's the, like, it's, it's basically very cult. Like, I don't know what this group is. It's like, oh, you know, if you walk into a room and like, there's a painting of the master, you have to like, oh, bow and all these. So, you know, these are, so it's like on one hand tempting, right? If you're lonely and all that. But on the other hand, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, your life is going to be guided for how they want you to live. I think he was mentioning this one dude that he knew that joined some group and was just, like, very happy, you know, got nothing going on, very lonely, and I think, I don't know if he, like, confided in him, where, like, yeah, they control, yeah, they sort of give you directions and control, but it beats being alone, right? And so, just kind of stuff like that where I think he was recently talking about, like, looking into the Mormons or something like that. So, it was just that, like, how, you know, from the outside, things appear a certain way. But once you get in, how are they going to act and how are they going to tell you to be? So, that was the question is, where do you... Where can you find people... Who will accept you and not necessarily try to change you, but that you could have a connection with? Does that, I don't know, does that sort of make sense? Um, and his thing is obviously like IRL, trying to meet people, all that. Where it won't be, oh, as soon as you, as soon as you like leave the meeting or something like that or whatever it is like suddenly like you don't stop existing you know and we definitely talked about it and all that and it was just kind of I you know you have there's there's no there's no answer there's no answer I'm not sure man maybe if you're younger and all that but at this point probably not really anywhere It's uh, no reason to not put yourself out there, I, you know, but it, it's just the reality of things once you get past a certain, certain point, you know, that is simply the way of the world. And so about the only place like that you can find, and I, I didn't tell him this because I didn't think about it at the moment, is probably here, probably on the internet, <laughs> as sad as that may be, is about the only place you can find any sort of belonging, friendships, closenessness, whatever it might be, you know, to go, to come together with other people around something. But it's... I don't know. On one hand, it's sad because you're not getting quite the thing. And I think it's very important to, you know, if there's any opportunities to make stuff happen IRL from the internet, got to do it. But just that sad reality where you find like a connection with people, but everybody's so far away from each other. Different states, different countries, different continents. So, 
Yeah. How different things would be if we all lived in like the same place close to each other, right? Help each other out, hang out, assist each other, whatever. But we are ultimately just kind of forced to do it all as best as we can on the internet, but um, gotta appreciate it at least having it, you know? Even if it's ultimately just on the internet, so... And this is why it's so... I mean, I don't know, for somebody like me, maybe for other people, it's nothing, but this is why I think it's so difficult to just, ah, oh, dude, just get off the internet and go meet people, you know? Maybe for some, oh, they can just do that. And then you also have to question is like, okay, well, okay, maybe somebody's good at going out and meeting people, but what type of, like, how close are these connections and all that? Is this sort of gabbing about whatever or having a closer connection? I don't know. But I think this is why it's so difficult to just, just get off the internet, man, and go meet people. So I don't know. Whatever all of this ultimately is... However long it lasts, you know, just trying to be grateful and appreciative of it, even though, yeah, you know, you want that, you want it IRL too, that's why when you do something with somebody that you're more closer with in person, that's why it's so much more meaningful, but there's always that sadness, right? When it's time to go home and... Yeah, it's like when I hang out with my half Afghani friend. is just like sit at his place all day drinking coffee, watching Netflix, or playing video games, talking about whatever. And then it's time to go home and you know you won't be meeting again for a while. So... That's, uh, that was my thought, unless you, unless you luck out on something, but that's, that's what it is, is, that's where you find some, some semblance of home, of something to belong to, is the internet, around something, whatever. That's where we are right now. Or at least I am, so. <laughs> Alright, folks, I gotta go do some shopping. So, I will see you later. And sorry for the disheveled, sweaty, whatever look. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.